Coming up on Empower with Tristan Camphor Duma. I don't know, I just felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. Like I should just be near the piano playing every day. So like one day, I don't know, it's like praise and worship and everything. Then I'm hearing some serious chords. Like like those chords that we hear, you're like, yo, this guy is good. Then I was like, okay, yeah, I need to get to that level. My motivation for like music was just like what can the music do for someone else? It's not about like me playing, getting the fans. I don't really care about that. <laughs> how many instruments do you know how to play? Oh, wow, five or six. How old are you? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. My name is Tristan and I'm here to empower you to elevate your lives. Today, we have a very, very special episode. But before this episode, we have a very special performance. So without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy. But most importantly, take notes. Gabby, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> all right, all right. As Tristan said, my name is Giro, and stay tuned because the episode is going to be very, very interesting. Yes, so we are back and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the performance. And I mean, yeah, before we get into today's episode, I just want to take some time to shout out my boy Larry. I met him at Jelly Fest and I mean, yeah, bro, he just said he's a, he's a fan of the show and I appreciate that so much. To everyone who's seen me in public and you don't want to say hi, please come and say hi. You know, give yourself a little shout out on the on the podcast and yeah, let's let's get into that. So he likes the settings, don't worry. 
Chill out, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, man. Jai Gabi, w- welcome to the show. Thank welcome. You. Thank ha- you. How how are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Mm. By God's grace, you know. Everything is all right. Everything is cool? Yeah, everything is cool. All right. So, the first question I have for you. <laughs> Please, so don't try to do any... Don't worry, don't worry, like. don't worry, don't worry. That was okay. good. Who is Gabi? To be honest, uh, I don't know. Even I don't know who Gabi is. Like, I'm still trying to find out, like, what or who I am, what I'm to do with what I am right now. Yeah. But, sure. you know, this book is helping <laughs> me find that. And this is not a paid promotion, by the way, but trust me, if you want to pay, I'm okay. Yeah. Elevate. I, I, I'm to <laughs> elevate your life. For sure. For sure. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of elevate, yeah. yes, the, the book is out now you can get it on amazon you can get it on book no Cloth store it will also be available in a few stores coming soon so yes be watching out for that and yeah, yeah i think without all that out of the way yes yeah. please the instruments like sub like yo <laughs> where where did all of this come from but before we even begin how many instruments do you know how to play oh wow five or six how old are you 14 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen he's 14 years old. How many? What are, can you name the instruments for us? Yes, with sax, drums, electric guitar, acoustic, bass, and then flute. Yo, that <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. Yo, okay, so okay, wait. First of all, when when did you start learning how to play instruments? Walk us through that whole process because, like, yeah. All right. So it all started when I was like four. <laughs> One day after school, my dad was just like. Let's go and buy a piano. So then we w- we bought the piano and started class. First, well, when I first started, it was like, it was forced. They were forcing me to actually learn the piano. And then, I don't know, I just felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, I should just be near the piano playing every day. So then I gained some knowledge in the piano. And then I was like, why don't I try other instruments? So then I asked for a flute. Did that for a year, learned the flute. As for a drum set, actually the drum set was was more of like going to someone's house to play it. I asked for it, they said no, because it's too much noise. But then yeah, I was playing the drums, and and my third instrument that was mine was the sax, and yeah, that's been like a year and a half, and I'm playing the sax. The guitars, I don't know, it's just like it just came to me, but like. My knowledge in piano, and I just learned the strings and everything, and it just felt natural. Yo, Charlie, yeah, yeah, this shock gave me like, I'm just <laughs> like, yo, that's that's so crazy. Wait, so I, I want to like, I want people to understand something. So from four years old, that's yeah. when you started playing the piano. Yeah. And then the next instrument was the flute. Yeah. And when was when did you start learning the flute? From where? The flute age? was like from six, seven to like ten. So six, seven to ten. Yeah. And then from then you moved on to. Yeah, from then I was on like I was just on a cool down period. <laughs> yeah, so learning really the drums that. most more. Okay. But I wasn't really like in major instrument learning like that. So like yeah, last year. No, twenty twenty two. But like so it's been like a year and a half. And you just picked up the saxophone, you started learning the saxophone yeah. when? I saw someone playing it on like TikTok and I asked my dad, Yo daddy, I want the sax. Are you serious? Yeah. Like that's actually how Yeah, that's that's how I wanted to play the sax. <laughs> and when did you start learning how to play the sax? I don't want it. Um, thirteen. So that was literally like a year ago. Yeah. So you've been playing the sax for just a year. Yeah, you know. I can't lie. I thought you. I thought you've been playing the sax since oh, nah. like. <laughs> no, it's just been one year. Yeah. Yo, that's that's actually crazy to me, bro. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> hey, yo, like you can learn one year. Yeah. And, it, and was it like, like hard to learn? Like, what's the hardest part about like learning these new instruments? Um, the techniques. Because, like, sax obviously has, like, a different blowing technique to the flute. Pause. And it pause. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> actually a pause. But, like, yeah, <laughs> like, you have to release your air in a different way. I'll avoid using the word. But, like, yeah, you have to release your air in a different way to the flute and to the sax. Because the sax, you have a mouthpiece and everything. So, like, you actually have to, like, I don't want to say like you put your mouth on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, okay. So do you notice? So do you notice? Just walk us through. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like you have the saxophone here. Yes, it's yeah. a 
a little problem that's here for those who are listening please um i'm sorry that you're not able to see the saxophone that he's holding up but he's holding up his saxophone that he used to yeah. play the um the small performance in the beginning of the podcast yeah. so yes this is it yes yeah, so walk us through the first of all you have your mouthpiece a flute doesn't really have like a mouthpiece that you get to like blow the air into like it's in your mouth and you blow the air into it. pause but yeah you just the sax that's how the technique was for breathing and like playing like i'm seeing all these these things that are yeah, <laughs> you know, time. i don't know <laughs> yeah I it's just... a lot but like in actual fact let me not even lie to you you only use like seven or eight of them they're like 20 something but you only need like seven or eight of them like you really only need, you really need to use yeah like those are my go-to keys <laughs> that's all like that's all i use because <laughs> If you try and overcomplicate everything, like it just makes breathing very difficult when you're playing the sax. Uh huh. So okay. So yeah, talking about breathing, I know when you're playing these type of instruments, breath control is very important. Very. So how I know like you move from was it piano mm-hmm. to drums to then start the flute. Yeah. So like the progression in your breathing technique, did you see like you really had to improve it for the sax or was it like just? Yeah, drums? for the sax I had to really like change it up because like the flute it was all right. Cause that one you're just like, it's like kind of whistling but without like the teeth and everything. Okay. So you're just blowing down into the instrument. Okay. Whereas this one you have to now learn how to breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth, and play from your belly. So you don't play from like your throat, just like pumping air out <laughs> recklessly, or else it'll yeah. sound like to sound like a car crashing. Okay. <laughs> to like find the air in your gut. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Hey. Wow. 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 Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this whole music thing, like, I can see that you have a passion for it. And yeah. You really, you really love playing the the music, the, yeah. the different instruments. I think I'm trying to understand. So, it was your parents who started by forcing you? You can you can put the yeah yeah. You can just <laughs> this thing. I think it's blocking. <laughs> and so, it started with your parents. Yeah. Your parents were forcing you to go in the beginning. Yeah. And when did that switch from you being forced to you actually starting to like it? It was it actually started like in church. Mm. Like my piano teacher was like the church organist. So like he used to play and then I used to watch him. So like one day, I don't know, it's like praise and worship and everything. Then I'm hearing some serious chords. Like like those chords that way here, you're like, yo, this guy is good. Then I was like, Okay, yeah, I need to get to that level. I didn't get to that level, <laughs> but then <laughs> I tried. I tried to get to that level, but I couldn't. But then it it just moved me, like seeing how people play in church and like it's moving other people. Me, my motivation for like music was just like, what can the music do for someone else? It's not about like me playing, getting the fans. I don't really care about that. <laughs> it's about like what can my music do for someone else? So just recently, I started playing sax in church. Actually. For sure. For real, yeah. that, and it's been, it's been funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, music has a certain way of moving you, yeah? That's true. It's different. That's true. It's very powerful. Very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Like, you feel something in in your gut, like, it's something is happening, but you don't know what's happening. Yeah, that type of feeling, like, especially in church. Oh, God. <laughs> it's powerful. Like, when music is playing in church, like, you just feel it. You just feel it. That's why most pastors preaching or when like doing a sermon or something they often have like background music because like the music is powerful there's power in music it's like it's it's actually crazy that's that's actually my that's actually my um when you were talking i was thinking about something that i heard from uh an apostle his name is apostle joshua selman yes i don't want to butcher the guy's name that guy that guy get wisdom like if i was putting on somebody he get wisdom and one of the things that he was saying in one of his sermons was that a lot of people like your gift what is doing let me see let me, let me try and make sure i get this thing right <laughs> he said that a lot of people or let's say let's yeah. say let's say you for example mm-hmm. you were able to unlock this like passion for music and you're able to actually, because why I see this, I see this as you fulfilling your purpose. I think that yeah. your purpose is around music. That's just from what I see. Like, you have a gift, and it's very evident that it's there. But that gift, it was unlocked because of somebody being obedient to their purpose and playing the music to their yeah. ability. Yeah. And because they did it so well, it ignited something in you. Mm-hmm. So basically, his point was that our purpose 
is kind of intertwined and connected with other people's purpose. Yeah. That when we realize our own purpose, then we help other people to realize their purpose. So us saying that we will not do it, or us saying that we can't do it, we are denying other people of their own salvation. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So like it's a little connection that he made, and I was like, oh, that's actually so crazy. And what I see here is that that actually happened to you. Yeah. And that's an example of that happening to you. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that, that was like, oh, that's that's a testament to what God can do. Yeah. And the assignment that has been there. But actually, I want to know, because me, me personally, like, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, he, he, yeah, we, we went to the same school. And yeah. he's, he's my junior by, like, <laughs> four years. Yeah, he's my junior by four years. But one thing that kind of, like, just it shocked me the first time that I met you was that, like, at first I thought, like, ah, this person is not serious. Like, <laughs> he just, 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 they just, you know, the regular small boy, this type of things, like, oh, junior is everything, yeah, just yeah, funny, yeah. funny things. Then he started playing some, I think it was piano he started playing. I was like, ah, I can play piano. That's cool. That's cool. Then there was some time, you see, your hostel is like opposite my hostel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Same and, competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was some time that I was just there in my room and I could just hear some saxophone. I could hear some, I'm like, ah, how oh, is playing the saxophone? Like, and the thing was sounding so nice. I think you're playing um the Pink Panther this time. Yeah. Like, and then, yeah, you're playing that one. I was yeah. like, ah, what is that? Then I, then I was like, ah, what's going on? So then I asked one of my classmates, I asked him, like, are ah, you? Who is that? He said, ah, that's Gabby. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. This guy is actually too good. Like, nah. <laughs> like, actually, like, for real, like, you do have you do have a gift. That one, yeah. I have to say, you have a mm-hmm. gift. And right now, I just want to kind of lead way into the yeah. other topic, which is support. Yeah. So, what has your support system been like throughout learning this whole thing? I mean, it's, thankfully, it's been good because, like, my parents are actually like music fans they enjoy music a lot they enjoy music like a lot so like asking them for instruments and like being like oh i need to i want to play this it's been received well it was received well by them for sure they wanted to push the music like since day one they've been trying to push music down my throat (laughs) and now like i'm pushing it down their throat and they're like yo relax 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 one instrument at a time pause pause (laughs) well, <laughs> you edit this out, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like it's like one instrument at a time. Take it easy, because like there's only so many things you can do. For sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. So I want to know who has been your biggest inspiration. Who are the people that you look up to when it comes to? You can even say music. You can say life. You can say all the things. Music. And why? My biggest inspiration in music is probably is actually a saxophonist. Um, this guy, Gova Washington. Okay. Cause like, his music, mood like, when you hear him playing jazz, you're like, nah, it's smooth. It's too smooth. <laughs> but like, in life, obviously like, Judge Boy and things like, I've been looking up to a lot of pastors, and like mine is actually my pastor, and Prophet Obi Amaku. Okay. He's been like there since day one, been telling me like, yo. I have a gift. I have a gift. I need to unlock it. When I started like seeing things and stuff, I go to him. He's like, "Yeah, you need to do this, do this, do this." Yeah, he's been there since day one, and I really look up to him. For sure, for mm-hmm. sure, for sure. And I see all these people. It's a good, it's a good environment that you are in right now. And I want to stress this to um, the people that are listening, and I mean to you as well. I think one of the the biggest things that I'm seeing here in your whole journey is the environment and how big of a role environments plays in your development and like i see that you have some very good people that you look up to mm-hmm. and these people are really s- helping and bring up the, and bringing up the next big thing when it comes to <laughs> music you know and I didn't go that far, but <laughs> yeah, that's even didn't that's even the next part i want to know what are your ambitions what are, what are the things that maybe you want to accomplish with this music so my music i just want to like try and reach as many people as i can because, obviously, you know, I'm not, like, big in social media and all that with the music, you know. But, like, starting in school, obviously. I've started in school playing this, this, that. For people to listen and be like, oh, this is good. It's a good thing he's doing. Playing gospel, playing... I even have a band. Like, yeah, we're trying to... Shout out your band, but we yeah, get after started. eight, you know. <laughs> that's the name of the band. We're a jazz band. So, we're just trying please, to please, get people. people don't know. I'm sorry. People don't know that... Yeah, please fix just just fix the microphone. Yeah. Uh huh. Shut. You have to tighten it like this. There you go. 
Perfect. All Perfect. Right. Uh-huh. People don't know the ages of the people in the after age. Please mention. See, I want to, I want to shout them out and then mention their age so that people know that like people are, they are doing things. All right. So we have um Adam and Enam. They are twins. They are 15. Adam is the bassist. Enam is a bassist and the saxophonist. We have Asida, who is also 15, our keyboardist. We have Kwame Fifa. He's the drummer of the band. He's also, I think he's, yeah, he's 15. Yeah, we're all basically like 15, 14. Day. I'm the, I think I'm the youngest in the band. And yeah. Totally. We're just trying to like reach as many people as possible to show them like music can actually do things. Totally. Yo, if yo, I, I had the, 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 the opportunity and the pleasure to listen to these people live. You know, do you know what's funny? That day that I listened to you guys live. Yeah. My my father my father my my father my mother they were sitting by me and they were like ah this small boy what is he doing ah <laughs> hey this guy can't play oh. hey this guy they tell you have to get him to the house oh. hey just what's this guy's name I say ah that's Gabby we don't know Gabby say ah this guy has future oh. nah nah then my father's like ah I have to sign him I have to sign him you can't you can't play him you have to sign him he, he doesn't do anything my father is not anywhere near music <laughs> my father doesn't do anything related to music but it was a very interesting it was so entertaining and the music was just like wow like people are yeah. talented here like that's that's very 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 crazy like whoa yeah and me i'm just there i'm like charlie this idea loki i slack smoke but now they're the piano and those <laughs> things i've been playing you know back in my day I had yeah the, back in the day back in the day back in the day See, because the day, the day is past though no the day, i would have the day, gone pro- the day is past. i would have gone professional G- would have would i would have, have gone would i had have. i had an acl injury would have ACL for piano. I had an yeah, ACL. Yeah. I had an ACL injury. Yeah. That's why I didn't go professional. But yeah. Had that not been the case. Yeah. ACL for piano. Yeah. It impacted my ability. You mm. know, sitting down for knee. Mm. Those things. But for real, for real though, on the most shows, it's like, Charlie, it's actually very inspiring. It's, it's yeah. very, it's very inspiring to see the the piano, seeing the saxophone, seeing the different. I haven't even seen you play bass and, and what's it called acoustic. <laughs> I haven't seen you play any flute. I haven't oh. seen you play. It's a saxophone that's like, nah, this guy gets talent. And I want to know, what would you say to somebody who is thinking of starting? So if you are thinking of starting an instrument, I can't really, I can't really tell you, but just like put your all into it. Because you don't know what's going to happen in the next six, seven months. You don't know who you are going to meet. You don't know how how you get started with the whole thing. Just put your all into it. And God first. God first. That's what helped me. Because when I started playing the sax, I only played gospel. That was the only thing I played. My teacher was, a, was like, he was like a pastor. So, like, <laughs> we're only playing gospel. For sure. And, like, playing gospel, there's something to it that, like, empowers you. Understand? It's not just playing gospel, listening to gospel. That's why when I pray, I pray with music on. Because, yeah, because music moves. I know I've said this a lot, but music no, yeah, moves. Yeah, it, does. Oh. it does, it does, for sure, it does. Music is something <laughs> else, it's something else. <laughs> what has been your biggest your biggest challenge in terms of learning these new instruments? Um, Probably, like, the audience. Mm. Yeah. Cause like I've not the sax is the only instrument that I really played in front of like people people that I feel com now f- I'm feeling comfortable because like the other members of the band they are like oh they've been playing like recitals and things I only played in my room all the instruments I only played in <laughs> my room I recorded myself so like I watch it back and I'm like mm, I have to do this I have to do this so I've not really had a public opinion on okay. how I play or how I should play okay and yeah. So that's 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 been something that's like, uh, but I yeah. feel like it's going to change in the, oh, <laughs> in yeah, the very near soon, future, very very soon. Yeah, very soon. I feel like you're really going to explode and <laughs> really going to do a big big thing. Try, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> and now that like you've mentioned your your challenges, I also want to know maybe what's been your biggest regrets when it comes to this whole music. Um, biggest regret was not making time to study enough. To study the instruments enough to like the sax is the only instrument that i've gotten so far like with i've gotten very far in playing the sax that it's not enough like piano i didn't really get to like an extent where i can s- play in front of like a thousand people a hundred people and like play the piano and be like i'm actually playing something <laughs> i only play like that's why even what i just played what i played earlier 
it was just like songs and covers because that's all i learned i learned chords covers i didn't really learn far enough and yeah i feel like that really impedes your growth as like a musician big word you will come don't worry <laughs> i can see you being in the lab eh? oh yeah 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 i'm mean, going to go my next week i have to be in the lab you, 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 uh, you. oh sorry um the the pb guy uh, oh my bad <laughs> stop it we'll edit this out don't worry. but i don't know if i can edit this stuff out oh man. okay oh uh, yeah just keep keep reading keep reading guys <laughs> And also sight reading. I didn't really <laughs> learn how to sight read, so I can okay. read the sheets, the music sheets. But then it takes me a while for it to like register in my head that this is the note I'm playing. Cause like what's the time I just play by ear, so I listen to a song and I just start playing. Okay. But so then if you, you put the sheets in front of me, I'll have to like transcribe it in my head before okay. I start playing. Okay, so there are still things that like you can still yeah, improve yeah. on, and uh, yeah. I'm sure that that's something that you're looking at doing right now, yeah, trying to improve yeah. on those things. Yeah. I mean, if you had to pick between the six instruments, what's been your favorite instrument to oh, play? Oh, sax by sax far. Yeah. It's so smooth. Like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing the sax and, like, people are like, mm. that's like that's an instrument. Like, you're actually playing. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. I can't lie. It's very nice. So, there was, there was, there was a, like, a whole process. For people who are not really, like, um, accustomed to music, yeah. And let's say the saxophone, for example. Mm-hmm. Please, I know you walked us through how to play the instrument and what it requires mm-hmm. you. But I saw you before you were setting up the saxophone. Mm-hmm. You had like certain things that you had to do. So, yeah. that, so can you please walk us through that? And please, before you walk us through this, please, you are just saying it. Like, <laughs> like, not no crazy stuff before. He knows where he's going with this. He knows where he's going with this. So, you know, we're not, we're not doing none of that crazy stuff, bro. Just <laughs> walk us through. And please, um, let's let's get the microphone set up. Okay. okay. So, um, first you have like the sax, and then we have the mouthpiece. Actually, it's detachable. So like, yeah. So the mouthpiece, which is which is actually detachable. So like, you just take it out when you want to play, when you mm-hmm. don't want to play, and then you take put it back in when you want to play. And then my favorite part, the mouthpiece. So without this, you actually can't play a saxophone. You would just be blowing hot air. So for those who are who are listening, he's showing uh, the mouthpiece of a saxophone. Yes, please. Um, and yeah, so this is the reed. It's a little wooden. Okay, so the sax is a woodwind. So like you use wood and wind to play the instrument. So the reed is like a piece of wood who actually like tunes the sound of how you should play. So we have different reed sizes and reed strengths. But I use 2.2 because it's pretty hard what's 2.0 2. 2.0 is like the strength of the reed so give me the range so what's the range so there's one 1.5 two 2.5 three but from three i think three up is tennis so 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 the was it like the lower is it harder or the lower is softer softer and then the higher the the higher is like harder okay so so if you're doing this like so why do you do two instead of like one so three no like you buy the reed at a certain strength yeah, so what 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 would what so, would be in my mind if I say I want to buy? Why would I buy a two instead of buying a one? Because you probably there there might be two reasons. You don't have like enough air to like play into a two because okay. it requires a lot of air to like hold up and then strength because it's strong. Okay. And the one is very soft, so then you don't really need a lot of effort so it's easier yeah it's easier to but do so why don't i just play with the one throughout and just do that sometimes it's like it's personal preference because of tune okay because of how you play everyone has a different tune and how like they are they they sound when they play the sax okay so me personally i prefer 2.5 actually 2.5 but then I, I didn't get that so then i have to use a 2.0 for like the next three weeks three weeks as how long does how long did it last um, my last read lasted like two months. Two months. Yeah. And then what happens? It just yeah, it starts chipping. Okay. Cause like it gets wet and then it becomes softer and softer. Ah, okay. Softer and softer. Yeah. So let's just get into like so how we start the sax. So like the read, you have to wet it. Like just put it in your mouth for like fifteen seconds, and like lick both sides so that. Like, it's wet enough for you to play. And then 
you insert it into the mouthpiece and then yeah you just tighten everything so the rest of these things like they don't have to be like because nah. once you buy it once you don't need to yeah. do anything it's just the read that you need to yeah you need to consciously replace your and your mouthpiece but like you keep biting this part so like it kind of wears down okay so you also have to replace that one too but yeah. that one is not that frequent nah okay for sure like every like two years two years okay so it's not bad and then this axe so when did you get this axe a year ago yeah okay okay for yeah. sure like normally you also replace your sa- like you have to replace your sax at some point why because sometimes if you don't it depends on how you keep your sax if you keep it very very well you might use it your whole life mm. i right. see some people they they have like um those feathers this thing like it's like of some i don't know how to say it's like they put something inside the yeah saxophone. yeah yeah that's the that's to clean the spit okay. i lost mine in school so like ah uh, so yeah. you own it just yeah so then i just have to like turn it over and like <laughs> push all the spit out <laughs> So what happens if, it, if if the space is stuck inside the thing? What, 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 what's the... Um, you don't get a clean sound. Okay. So you hear like, like it's kind of muffled. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Hey, Charlie, this saxophone, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's serious, this thing. So, so getting into the world of, of saxophone and playing mm-hmm. these instruments, the the barrier of entry, is mm-hmm. it, it, when I say low, I mean it's very easy. And then I say like high is hard. So what would you say is at? It's kind of like mid Mm. It's made because like it's not like it's not necessarily a piano where you just put your hands in and making sound. This one you're actually like blowing air and it requires a lot of effort. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to understand this for people who are looking to begin and looking to start playing these instruments. Please, yeah. if you're thinking about it, I think this is your sign to like you know start playing the instruments, bro. Just you know, it will take th- you far. Yeah, it will, it will take you far. Me personally, it's, it inspired me. I think I think it's time yeah. I. I start learning to play. And the ACL is healed. Charlie, heal. Oh, Charlie, we thank God. It's healed. It's healed. I think it's time to put, put myself back on the game. You know. Yeah, get back in the field. You know. Mm-hmm. See, you know what's funny? Like on the most serious notes, like I actually used to play piano and drums. But you so see, why do you stop? I can't lie. Like I just lost them for it. Like, <laughs> Uh, like I just didn't have the the staying power <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, actually <laughs> because uh, the piano I can still play a little one two one two on the piano. I think you remember the last time. Yeah, you remember yeah, last yeah, time yeah. I played the piano. That one too, I can't I can do it. Does, he did some class two things but yeah, yeah. in school. <laughs> so so yeah, I think I was actually looking to start in you know my brother plays the bass. He started playing bass. Uh, for real? Yeah, he like he likes he like he likes music. The guy was playing harmonica. Yeah. Harmonica. Yeah, so he had a harmonica, he was playing the harmonica before he left for school. Yeah, so when I when I go, I'm sure that he will put me onto some of the instruments yeah, and those yeah, type yeah, of things. So. Oh, but he plays the piano yeah. too. That one, yes, it's very like, interesting. It gets like that, like it gets to points where you're like, nah, I can't do this anymore because that is too time consuming. Really? Actually, learning the instrument to learn and play well mm-hmm. is time consuming. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. Hey, I was going for like sax classes three times every week. Three times for a two week. months straight. When 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 did that happen? Yeah, that was like last like when i was starting out when you were starting out yeah like the first four or five months mm. how long was how long was the sax class um from seven to nine charlie but Three sometimes times we... sometimes we go from six seven nine nine thirty charlie three times a week. and three times a week was because i had football football on fridays so if you didn't have football. yeah my sister had, had it like four times a week okay yeah Charlie, your parents, bro. Shout out to your parents because Charlie, <laughs> yo, they are made. They, yeah, you got, man, Charlie. Now nah, th- this is their blueprints, Charlie. <laughs> hey, your parents, they really, really post, Charlie. This one, yeah, they really, wow. Oh yeah, it's Charlie. So, hey, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm in awe. Like, I'm just, I'm just like, ah, you're 14 years old, mm-hmm. six instruments, mm-hmm. one instrument that you play like me, cry like I'm like, ah, this is. I'm, I don't, I, like, I don't even know, like, what, what to even say to this. It's like, ah, <laughs> I don't even know. But the sax classes, let's let's go to the sax classes. Yeah. Okay. It's been, what, you said you were doing three classes a week yeah. for two months. The other instruments that you were learning, was it something similar to that? Or was it that one just in your room type thing? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Piano was very consistent the classes were very consistent because like it coincided with my school calendar like my school schedule sorry mm-hmm. so like every wednesday and friday 
I stayed back in school for another three, three, three and a half hours to play the piano. Three, I'm sorry, three, three and a half hours. Yeah. Three to five or three. Child, listen, you know, it sounds sound like a lot of time. Yeah, that's why you have to really love it too. Time. That means you really love it too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really love it. It got to a point where I was like, I can't do this anymore. But then, my dad was like, Yo, we bought the instrument for a reason. <laughs> you have to like actually learn how to play it. Yeah, it's perseverance is pushing through. I see that. that that's, that's wow. And you, right now, you're reaping the fruits of. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Hopefully. It's serious, serious labor. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. And right now, I can see as you. I can see you getting better and better and better and doing more yeah, and more. I try. Yeah, Charlie, they trying there. Yeah, you try. <laughs> <laughs> After that idea, you try. <laughs> Charlie, uh, are there any shout outs you want to give to anybody who is um, who is watching anybody? <laughs> yeah, <try>. Nah, <laughs> to be very honest, nah, <laughs> you don't got no shout outs. <laughs> nah. I but that's fine. No one even knows I'm here. No one <laughs> only knows my that. parents, like ah, only Charlie. my family knows that I came on the pod. Ah, Charlie. Now yeah. you have a special this is gonna be a surprise guest. This was something that was like out of the blue. Like Yeah. Was, Actually, wait, before we continue, I want to see how Tristan puts things makes things happen here. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause I just saw a clip of the pod on IG and I was like, yo, so what am I going to like come on the pod? Like, as a joke, as a complete joke. I wasn't even I didn't think this guy would be serious. They were like, Are you free tomorrow? Come two o'clock. And I was like, Vim. <laughs> they were like, You come for. But you know Ghana Man time, so like I was here like five thirty. Mm-hmm. Five five thirty on the road. Yeah. yeah. Two minutes two minutes later you would have sucked me, Charlie. Yeah, I was actually I was so I was so tired. I was coming to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I told I told I told my friend, I told him that if it's five thirty and this guy's not here, I'm going to text him and tell him that you shouldn't come. And like joke, like joke, five twenty nine. This yeah, brother called me, said I'm outside, and I was like, Nah, Charlie, this is God. I said, This yeah. is just God because yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's partly because of like the 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 traffic. You hear me? Me, I left the house out for 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 no. Don't you worry. Left the house out. The time four. he told me to come, I left because like I knew traffic would be there. You hear me? So wait, no, no. So when you texted me telling me that uh, traffic is crazy, you had even left your house. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Had well, a feeling. Do you know why? Because I was reading the book. I even brought it with me. Okay. I actually brought it with me. <laughs> I, yeah, saw- By the way, it's not a paid promotion. Tristan, you should do something about that. <laughs> Hold up, my boy. Speaking about the book, yes, um, your mind, Charlie. The book is out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This <laughs> is out there, booknook.store or amazon.com. If you read, If you read the book, and you've liked it, please just let me know. Please leave a review. The reviews, they mean so much. And please, testimonials, reviews, any of those things, I appreciate it so much. Everybody who's bought a book and read it, thank you, thank you so much. We are on the journey. We are empowering lives, and we are also changing lives. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, and about the book, the book has actually helped. Like, once again, I'm not being paid. <laughs> just then. But, yeah, the book has actually helped me a lot, like, on a serious note. <laughs> Cause like it's helped me with like getting things done, because first I was like a very like a discount person. Mm. Uh, like I'll say I'll do something and I'll be like, nah, you know I'm too tired for this. Like I can't be bothered. But like the book actually helped me. Like I don't know what I can see like, but like my wallpaper is actually like goals that I need to achieve. Uh, for real? Yeah. That's actually crazy. My wallpaper is goals that I need to achieve. Like I wrote it down on notes. I screenshotted it and then I said, nah, this has to be my wallpaper. That's crazy. Because wow. in the book, it actually says like how Tristan wrote his goals down. That's crazy. And then actually achieved him. Like, it helps me remember. So, like, every day, it's a constant reminder that I need that to get to up it. and do something. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to screenshot my goals and put some on my yeah. old people. That's actually... I didn't even think of it like that. So, every time you turn your phone on, you're like, then you see it. I need to do this. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Charlie... Yo, Gabby, this has been something. It's been a very interesting episode. I really yeah. enjoyed this episode. It's been yeah. very sweet one. It's something that's different. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's a little different than usual, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's how the channel is. It is going to do something. Have fun with it. You don't have to do anything. Sit down all the time and have these type of conversations. Yeah. Sometimes you got you know have have the fun. You know, enjoy so the process. You, you understand? Yeah. And this guy has given us lovely, lovely, lovely performances. And I mean, Gabby. Where do they yeah. find you if they want to, you know, get in um, contact with you? Please, um, my Snapchat and <laughs> Telegram and everything will be in the description or edited into the video. I don't know for now, 
But like, <laughs> from August 10th, if you are looking for me, come to SOS AGIC. SOS AGIC hostel campus. I'll don't, be there. Hey, don't. I don't think uh, I don't think that's what they meant, my boy. I, think, I don't think that's uh, what I meant. Yeah, man. but like the socials will be like the, somewhere in the video. I'll, okay, I'll put, yeah. I'll put his Instagram on Instagram, right? Yeah. So I'll put his Instagram, I'll put his Snapchat, I'll mm-hmm. put his, what, his I'll tell him, that's what you're telling him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, nah, that's if you want to. But yeah, if like, yeah, do it. You know, do it. This guy. I'll put I'll put the <laughs> I'll put your socials on mm-hmm. there. I'll put your socials on the screen. Please follow him. Please text him. Let him know that like Charlie. We appreciate what you're yeah. doing. Keep your head up, keep going. And Charlie, big things are gonna come. Big things are oh, coming. Yeah, yeah. You know. If you guys are messing with the channel, messing with stuff that happening on the channel, please, please, please press that subscribe button. If you've seen any value if you've taken anything from this show and you appreciate what we are doing please subscribe yeah. like comment let this let these videos reach more and more people so you can continue to add more and improve more and do better and bigger things you know it's a journey and i thank you to everyone who's been joining on the journey so far it's only up from here and yeah without further ado i believe in you we believe in you go and make the world a better place don't and just live book. life <laughs> but thrive <laughs> Hey, that's hard, dude. Hey, nah, the outro is hard. The outro is hard. Nah. <laughs>